go to New York, you see about every nation bank there is. Mm -hmm. Father in heaven, as we gather here today to exercise government of the people, by the people, and for the people, we praise your name and exalt your holiness. And thank you, Lord, for the blessings you bestow upon us. Lord, today I raise up our commissioners and pray that you will give them your guidance. And Lord, I see we have some controversial wind farm things on the agenda. And let us all be courteous and respectful of one another. Lord, again, thank you for the blessings you bestow on us. I offer this prayer in the name of your Son and our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. some change orders. some early checks
were several different departments, so that was yeah. just to help them on their paperwork. Usually everyone has their own board, and so everything on the same board is for the same person. I heard a couple of uh, complaints about uh, the volume on the, the uh, meeting last time. So. Oh, okay. They, they couldn't hardly, they couldn't, they couldn't hardly hear the people in the hot seat, and then uh, and they had to turn everything all the way up. And it would go from there. Okay, and I haven't council, gotten any calls or anything, but yeah. I appreciate you letting us know. Council, uh, council real hard because he likes speaker anyway. You know, but, yeah, kind of hard to read. Okay, it played just fine when we listened to it in here, mm -hmm. so thank you. I told you last week I gave them to Road and Bridge and they took care of that. So oh, as far I as I know, those have gone out. Mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. okay. I know you said you were busy last week because of the insurance. Right, but I did I did get those letters done right away and they had them downstairs, so they yeah, should have been handled. Anything back from uh, the engineer on that tree period uh, from those uh, things, those uh, cracks and things that I pointed out last week? He did he not have anything at this time. So yes. I did see him downtown. He did receive the information I sent. So I'm sure he'll be calling to schedule a time with you. Okay, the next thing that I have in your packets is the formal request for an allocation from FACT. You had asked that they submit a formal request before you approve that. They have reported, they did come and report last spring and then this spring already. Um, so if you would like to approve an allocation to them as we have in the past, then that is just through a motion and a vote. Here is that the same allocation we've been yes. giving for a number of years? Maybe? It is. And so is that, now that also gets, do they get any of that drug and alcohol money? Yes, they receive all of our distribution for the drug and alcohol money. Do we need to rethink that a little bit because of that other organization coming up? Well, the other, since we have the Substance Abuse Prevention Coalition or committee mm -hmm. that is overseen by FACT, any requests have to go through that group. Um, there's a statute, there's some several statutes that I had provided to you back about a month ago. And the Restoration Center has been in contact with FACT. Um, we don't receive very many special alcohol funds, and so um, the last time I talked to Ashley, they were, um, she mentioned that uh, Carl Taylor 
thought we were going to be getting a lot more, and um, so they have not requested funding from through through staff through funds. Mm -hmm. But they have been attending meetings. So. And if you did wish to to rethink it, um, I would just have to see what those steps are by statute to do that. But since you do have that that coalition forms, then you know the statute said that all of those special alcohol funding requests have to go through them, not not the commission. Okay. Well, um, I'll go back and look at the statutes again because I wasn't I wasn't aware of that. So okay. I wanna, well, I can provide them again. I gave them to you all. Okay, that would back be right after the restoration center first came the first time. Yeah. So. And that would be great. Not that I have anything against fact, but I'm mm -hmm. just saying, you know, since we now have an organization that actually does um, rehabilitation, mm -hmm. I think is, you know, kind of really hitting and a Ashley little did, harder than just the educational part of it. Right. Yes. Um, Ashley did mention that if there are any commissioners that would like to sit on the Substance Abuse Prevention Coalition Board, that you are welcome to apply for that spot. So. How large a group is that? You know? um, I'm not sure how how many are on that. And they meet what once a month, usually. Yes. So. But this this money is just for their overall organization effect. It is not specifically for this is not for subs for SAPC or substance abuse or special alcohol money. So. Uh, it's just basically okay. general fund money for yeah. them. Yes. Okay, so this is no alcohol money. No, this this is generally paid out of sales tax from the county, and it's just an allocation to fact in overall. Okay. I'd make a motion to go ahead and approve the annual allocation of six thousand dollars to fact. Second. Seconded by Diane. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So, how about if we write a just write a letter? Okay, so you know, let me make sure I understand letter, what you mean. Letter. A letter about the Restoration Center? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. a new organization. Yeah, a new organization mm -hmm. to see how it serves Marion County. Okay. See if they, what they're doing, I guess, maybe. We would consider them as a... Uh, yeah, would consider them as a... Funding benefactor? Yeah, something to the... Yeah. yeah. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> Sounds... A lot better. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I, I'd like to do that to see what happens. Okay. If the board so approves. Mm -hmm. okay. Everyone in agreement to do that? Okay. Okay. Uh, the next thing that you had in your packet was just information about the National Association of Counties Board. Um, if anyone is interested in putting their name in for that, um, you need to let Dory at KHD know by April 25th. So you'd just be adopting our cafeteria plan and there were no changes um, for the new plan year of May 1 of 2019 through April 30 of 2020. And then it needs the chairman's signature. So on that, we just need a motion and a vote to um, basically restate the cafeteria plan for the upcoming you know, benefit year. I'd move to make that motion to restate the cafeteria plan for 2019 starting May 1st. Second. Okay, we moved and second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Right there where it says. Perfect. Right right. 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 
obvious. Well, I tried to make it. <laughs> usually, <laughs> well, I don't blame you because usually I, I don't have to, you have to look. All right, that's all I have for administrative. Well, I have one thing that I might add. This is, remember we agreed to pay for those um, pagers for Tampa? This is the bill um, I was handed to. Uh, they didn't break the bill in half like they were supposed to directly from PBS. So they hand wrote on here, of course, it has to be verified. But um, I'm bringing the bill in for us to pay our portion of it. So our portion would be the thousand. Well, yeah, after recalculate it recalculated. Now, I was a little stunned on this one right here, but I didn't take the time to calculate it. So she's 84, but they're putting down as 106. But it says four of them, and there's only three of the other units purchased. So maybe somebody else is paying for three. I don't know. Because I believe what you had approved was nine hundred and sixty some or seventy some dollars. So I can look back. Well, we did encumber the yeah. funds from two thousand eighteen budget, but we never caught a bill. So. Yeah. Yeah. And that has this has freight on it, so shipping handling, so So do we need to approve this amount or what we have? I'll just have to look back and see exactly what you did. Because if we allocated nine hundred and something. And the bill says it's the one thousand sixty one oh five. Right. But that includes shipping. I don't know if you include shipping and stuff like that in as well. Okay. I'll just look back it. and see what you can do. And then if you need to do a new action, then I'll let you know for next okay. week. Okay? All right. Is that it for administrative then? Yes. Okay. Uh transportation but Good morning. The first thing I have here is a uh, change order for the this one for Canada. I think we had that in the packet. Yeah, it's in the packet. We like, made paper cut the case. I don't know if Tina needs to know that. Um, this is for the taking out the footings and doing the the dirt, you know, piling it up out of, out of the way and backfilling and, and uh, you foresee yeah. as we move forward, we might get in this predicament again. I mean, you're not the engineer. I, uh, I would. It seemed to me like the further south they got, they got out of this situation. <coughs> the dirt started to clean up. Uh, I noticed I must have two, two of one thing on each one. Uh, do you have two separate pages? Mine's exactly the same. Okay. Yeah, they had I it think. in the packet. Yeah. I have two of the same. We had it in our packet. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, I yeah. have that. Yes. I it in too, but have to, yeah. You would have had it. My, my printer messed up. Anyway, um, I would say possibly, possibility might be there for, you know, something like this to happen again. I, as far as the footings, no, because underneath yeah, yeah. the building, they, they did not find it. According to the plans, there is no footings underneath. Uh, as far as contaminated soil, that's that's a possibility that it will be there. But like I said, it seemed like the further south they got, the less they got into that contamination. So I'm hoping, you know, that's what I'm hoping, and very very seriously to keep everything down. You know, I'm just so, I'm just concerned if we have an ongoing issue with this, it's really going to throw off our rest of it. Right, <laughs> right. So, so we have a change order number 00430, uh, original contract price was 297,00215, and. Uh, with the change order that would increase that by 24,059.75 and give us a new contract price of 
said that if you had any questions, he couldn't be here today, but he said he could be here next week if you need to answer any questions. Well, I think we need to have a, you know, kind of ongoing right. correspondence with him. Right, yeah. He, he knows he hasn't been here for a few few of the meetings, but he, he's involved in other stuff too, but he said that he could be here next yeah. Monday if you want to yeah. speak with him. Which, well, I mean, most of this yeah. is self explanatory yeah. I think he's, he's already discussed this with you guys before, and if I know that this was needing to be done and wanted to know your course of action and stuff. And, and so this is just the chain of order. So. Well, I mean, remove contaminated material and loaded concrete for haul off, okay? Um, but yet the contamination dirt is still outside, right? Yeah, we, we will. They're still waiting on the land form permit from KDHE. They're, they're getting it filled out and then we they submit it to KDHE and KDHE approves us to come take the dirt to the south shelf because that's where we were planning right. on taking it and then we aerate it for they said it, it would be you know possible. I guess the question but would yes. be directly would be are we uh, are we already paid for that to be done now or are we no. going to give another bill no what well, says well, remove contaminated they just put it in the pile they just put it in the pile the so pile will be if if you choose to have somebody haul it off then you'll be charged for that Road, you want road and bridge to haul it out to the South Shelf Forest. That's one of the things that the KDHE gentleman, when he was inspecting down there, recommended. He says, if you have a road and bridge department, he said, that's what my recommendation would be, is to just do it in-house, and then, you know, that's, that's legal. So, yeah, we can we could haul it ourselves. You know. And I, I know we don't want to interfere with their, their job as much as possible. I figure all the trucks are in one day's time we could have that thing. If I haul that, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. You know, but anyway, right. that that would be. I, I'm just looking for extra expense because you can't just ask to right. have extra expense. Well, there, there would be. be well, I mean, somebody's got to do it. I mean, on, ongoing as, yeah. as we mm -hmm. do some more demolition down the road. Right. If we're going to get, get yeah. into that, we, of right. course, we don't know. Yeah. As far as what's in the ground, I, I don't know. I wish I could tell you, you know. But as, as far as the pile there now, if, if you guys choose to have it done in-house, it can be done in-house, and it would just be the, the county's expense of the normal activity. Uh, you know, and then if, if we had to reimburse Road Bridge for it, then, you know, whatever. that's up to you guys. But then if you, you want to hire it done, then that would be an extra expense. So, so uh, that's the uh, 1575 price that you're referring to? Or am I on the wrong line? Uh, that, the debris that they're talking $2, about there. $2,200 up there for removed contaminated material, loaded concrete to haul off. Well, I was, yeah. And then haul off debris off, off the road truck. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't know which one. Which well, the, the debris that, that I think, I know they hauled off some stuff that was What's not that? contaminated, you know. Probably the foundations. Yeah, some of the foundation of the, the rock and stuff that, that was dug out and got hauled to a, to a dumping park point. And, and that's what that's talking about. But as far as the contaminated dirt, that's just, you know, they took it from right. the area and right. piled it in the pile. And so that's, I knew. It, I noticed that's covered. Yeah, that, that was required by KDHE yeah. and, the, and the silk fence. So if it rains, which it has three or four or five six times since it's been filed here. So, so you're saying it would be one one um, road and bridge truck? No, all of them. All of them? All of them. For, if you one want to get day. it out of there in a day's time, put everybody on it and have them haul it out to the south shop, have the loader there or the excavator, however you're going to load it. Uh, so I wonder how much that would cost. I mean, you, you, get, a well, lot of were, you get a lot of wages, you get a lot of fuel. Yeah. I wonder if we'd be saving by yeah. doing that. <coughs> I mean, wages and fuel all day long on all those trucks would add right. up, too. Right. So I'm just wondering if maybe we could figure I mean, that out a little bit to see what that would, in essence, yeah. compare the two 
right side. Maybe Road and Bridge could give you an idea of what that would cost to utilize all their trucks for a day. Yeah. And their men. I mean, that'd be a, approximate. Right. Right. I know. That would give us I know a better idea. Private owner would try to be more than what Road and Bridge. Would be. Yeah, I. But yeah. I, I see what Diane's saying though. You know, it's going to cost either way. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Either way, it would cost. Yeah. And right. then I'm just also wondering by taking Road and Bridge off it. All the work for another that's, day. That's, that's another cost. That needs yeah, to that's that's why I said you know Just that would be thought. something you would have to look at whether you wanted that mm -hmm. that to happen or not. You know, mm -hmm. uh, I, I agree. I mean, I'm just pointing out that it can be done in house. KDHE says it can be done in house. We don't have to hire it done. You know, uh, it's just entirely up to you guys, and I can probably get you some prices on what's what. So, uh, you know, when that time comes. Right now, we're still yeah, waiting. Have, It'd have to be during a done during a dry period, basically, wouldn't it? Well, I think, yeah, because you know you'd have to get out there in, in, in the third area, you know, to, to dump it because it'd have to go on that southwest corner out there of the of the south shop area. I think it require that. We're gonna have to have a little burn around it. Just doesn't have to be anything big. They said just so the when it rains, it doesn't. Push. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you said it has to be worked. Too. Yeah, yeah, they have to turn it once a month to aerate it, and, and and then they'll take sample on it when we figure we've got it done, and, and if they they say it's good, then then we can reuse it. So then we call no matter which way we go with that cost. No, it's going to cost yeah. either way. Yeah, that's the only bad thing about I'm just I'm just concerned about down the road when we start doing no more demo. Right. Right. Either take the do it all in one day, like Bud said, or you could take one week, one, one day. To, you one week, one day. One, one day. day with, we if we used yeah. all the equipment. If you yeah. used all the trucks, because you, know. you, could, you could set a person out there that's maybe a greater operator, truck driver, and loader. I don't know. Yeah, how are you going to do it? Bike, yeah, what, how are you going to do and get in that job for a week, too? So. Yeah. Just have to trust that one. when. when Get the permit yeah. okay, and, and, and then you know, as soon as it's okay, we want to get it done so we can get it aerated so we can reutilize the dirt if we need to. Yeah. I bet you there. can see another five thousand at least to go have a contract to do it. Oh, I'm sure, yeah. I'm sure. Which maybe not. Well, we have this change order in front of us, and we're going to have to take care of it. Are you saying perhaps another five thousand have a contract to remove that? Uh, above the <coughs> estimated. Oh, uh -huh. oh yeah. This, this is an additional. This isn't nothing what? bad. They, they'd, what? Have, they'd have to bring in a loader. Mm -hmm. Yeah, loader and equipment. Mm -hmm. I yeah. mean, you're going to pay for it one way or the other. Yeah. And so, mm -hmm. I, I guess for this, though, I would go ahead and make the motion to go up through the change order that we have in front of us. Number, change order number four. 430. Oh, 430. Well, order number yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, four, three, yeah. Okay. okay, it's been moved to print, approve the change order for the transfer <laughs> station in the amount of $24,059.75. Second by Diane. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Then I haven't had a chance to talk to any of the businesses about the tire or deal. After I met with you guys about it, I, I became <coughs> ill. You know, I was off for a few days, so I'm trying to catch up now. And I'm hoping I can get to them this week and get you an answer next week. And uh, they're they're saying that the building's going to start going up this week. You know, it's concrete's all poured, back drilling's been done. Uh, they're ready to start putting the, the new building up, so it should start go up this week. So and uh, I just want to show you guys, we've been having trouble with the people down there coming in when the machinery's on the floor. I've made sign after sign about what, what to do. It's in clear view. Uh, the guys are getting out and just, sometimes they're sitting there working and they get startled because there's a vehicle sitting right beside them. And, it, you know, I don't know. Uh, above all, maybe I just got to put a, a 
an arm out there, you know, that we raised it up when we were ready for him to come out on the floor and, and put it down, you know, like the old traffic cop. Yeah. People yeah. don't read signs. I guess not. We put signs down by the, by the trash bin over the weekend that if the bin was full, not to put it on the ground. And, and the guys go down there pretty regular after hours and, and dump the bins to keep the trash picked up since it has been brought to our attention by the city, you know, that it's blowing all over the place. And, and so four times this last weekend, they, they said that they had to pick up trash off the ground. And I know if we, if we don't leave the bin out there, we're still going to have trash being put on the ground. That's just the way it's going to happen now. Yeah. You need to put a camera up and remove the bins. And maybe we need to. Maybe we need to, you know, so we can get tag numbers and why, faces. And why should, why should Marion be the only Right. Other than anybody, Hillsboro, yeah. Marion, all, I mean, yeah. all, all, Lawrence. Right. Lincolnville, yeah, nobody else has it. Nobody yeah. else has access to it. And, uh, and that. I don't know, there needs to be a deterrent. Uh, I, just, yeah. mm -hmm. I mean, we can have it out there during working hours and then, and then bring it out in after working hours. And if we start getting trash put on the ground, you know, that. That is basically city property that it's sitting on, so if the city wants to police it, they can, but, you know, they're going to... I received a verbal complaint about the last three or four weeks, bud. Yeah? Um, apparently just the amount of trash around there, and wanted to know what we were doing about it. I said, I haven't asked you. Right. And I don't know. I said, that's, do we have a schedule that we go out we, we, we try to, yes. When the, the guys look out there during the work, working hours, and if it's full, fix it, get there, out, get it, dump it, put it back out. We try to accommodate the people so so they don't have to throw it up high or, or whatever. Right. We, and, and it doesn't make a mess. Uh, I, I feel that we're doing a good job down there of, of keeping that police. You know, since the first complaint we had, where where we cleaned up the ditch and everything on the other side of the road and we have not had anything blow over there and we've been watching that pretty well. pretty well you know trying not to have anything blow because you know it, it's it would be all right if people put contained stuff in that bin but i know a lot of people just bring their dumpsters down and dump them you know their trash cans and stuff and and, and we try to have them people come inside and dump so it doesn't blow around but we, we can't be a hundred places at once. You know, we try to try to do our best down there and, and keep it going. You know. so I just, uh, you know, if do we have to have that bin out there during the we don't have after, to or after you close on Saturday? We don't have to, no. Because we just thought I drove by there yesterday morning and people were dumping it. It looked like it was full. Right? Yeah, that was yesterday morning. Well, I mean, you set the precedence out there. If you put it out there, people's going to get used to it, fill it. Mm -hmm. So if I come here with my trash and it's full, sorry, I'm going to put it on. I mean, I'm not, but, but that's what. <laughs> that, that's but that's right. the feelings, and so well, you can't provide me now. So uh, that just yeah. becomes the feelings, and, and that's not the proper way, but that's just what happens. And, yeah. And well, you so, know, when it's out there and people bring their, make the trip to bring yeah. their trash in, you know, they're not going to haul their trash back home. Yeah. I mean, that's just realistically right. common sense. Yeah. Just, you know, because you know, they figure you're going to have a ski mean, load this, or something and pick it up or whatever. Th this was a, an accommodation to the public that mm -hmm. we thought we'd try, and, and, and it's getting abused way beyond. Well, I what think it's we, getting used, it's maybe getting not used. abused. Well, I mean, maybe maybe it's bigger than what you thought, and we yeah. don't have the proper size bin or something out there. True. Because people are obviously using it. True. So I would look at it a little different. I guess. Yeah. Is there access to more than one bin? We made that one. We made that one. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'd rather see so it was big enough to what we thought would yeah. accommodate. Yeah. You know, yeah. No, that's I mean, taken. Okay, uh, we've got Larry Sharp from K Camp. You're here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, so we're here. Yep. Yes. Okay. Yep. I always bring the courthouse and coffee. Oh, Eight wow. pins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, commissioners, for, for 
working man. I'm not going to be very long. I know you've had a long morning here. It is hot in here, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yes. It's yeah. awful. Very hot. Yeah. 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 Sort of be like me. I never turned my air conditioner on to July 4th. <laughs> Kids didn't like it, but now that I'm older, I turn it on earlier. Yeah. They're not at home anymore. Right. With this building, it's not that simple. You have to completely shut down the boiler system and change over. Ventilating helps. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Steve. Sure. this is my first visit down here. You're one of our newer members here for K Camp. Um, I know that you've met our CEO. Um, K Campus formed in 92 by consortium of counties, uh, and they formed an insurance pool. We are not an insurance company. I want to emphasize that. It would be sort of similar to a farmer's co op or a credit union. It's member owned. We have 74 counties. Marion County is a newer county. McPherson County joined. Uh, December of 2017 is one of our new counties. Another one of a newer county be Clay County, there in Clay Center. Uh, so welcome aboard. We hope that this last year was a good positive experience with K Camp. I don't know if you've had any issues with us or any contact with us there. We've had plenty of contact. I'm just saying we had plenty of contact. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> was any anything I can take back to the board it was a did you did, uh, if any time that we had any issues we were addressing that right away so very good I don't have anything okay uh, this is a risk management services usage report for K camp and it is for Marion County in particular there's not a lot of information on here because we only have one year of insurance experience here so I'll get right to it the first one here the risk management tool we have is called Attorney Assist. And I don't know if the clerk is called Attorney Assist or, or what your calls have been here. Uh, yes. Attorney Assist. Yeah, we use them. Okay. <laughs> More than once. <laughs> uh, well, and I, I think here, I like to say, you know, we have attorneys available that's really sort of experts. You, you know, attorneys are like doctors. You know, they all have a specialty mm -hmm. there, and our specialty is county government. And I like to think when you call, if we didn't answer your call right then, we got back to you right away. Yeah, might be great. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, so that's the benefit, and it's part and parcel of your premium. I always said, you know, with respect to attorneys, if you have a profession that charges you by the minute to talk to them, you know it's got to be expensive, but here it's unlimited. You can talk to them for a minute, you can talk to them for an hour. That's part of our service uh, to Marion County. Um, and Kansas legal-based jail, uh, jail guidelines. Uh, here in the, insur in the insurance world with, with county government, uh, one of the biggest, what we call exposures that we have in county government is law enforcement and law enforcement liability. All you have to do is watch the news every week to see somebody's at odds with the law, you know, <coughs> and especially county government, and especially those counties that have jails. I'm retired law enforcement, uh, 28 years at Hutch PD, then home office out of Reno County. Um, and then I thought, well, I think I'll change direction here and do something, you know, we all imagine when we're going to retire, I want to do something I've never done before, it'd be exciting. <laughs> so I served three terms as Reno County Commissioner. <laughs> now, that was exciting. <laughs> <laughs> it, some days I thought, it's a mistake. I made a mistake, but you can't get out. <laughs> so I've sort of been on both sides. I've been on the law enforcement side, yeah. I've been on county government side. So. That's why I do this part-time, because I know county government. And the biggest issue with county government generally involves around the sheriff operations uh, that you have. It's not an issue, it's just, it's just a big exposure. It takes a lot of time. So I've been on both sides of the table. Uh, here, this Kansas legal-based jail guidelines, 
the value of that's an implementation value of $1,495, and I see that your sheriff has already done that. Uh, again, we're trying to really, I'm not going to say coerce the sheriff, but we're really trying to talk the sheriffs into using this because it's really a good tool for them to keep up to date on jail issues. If you don't, it's sort of like your employee handbook. Uh, which we have a model employee handbook for the counties. It's not that we want to come down here and tell you how you have should have policies relating to, you know, errors and omissions or employee issues. It's just that here's our perspective. You can pick and choose. You don't have to use none of it. You say, hey, we like this. But the big thing about the employee handbooks, we always tell them, this gets back to the jail guidelines, is about every four years, you really ought to have a comprehensive review. You take out the old stuff that doesn't apply anymore, and you add the new stuff that does with respect to state and federal laws. And that's the same on jail guidelines here. Uh, you never hear much about it until you get sued for something. And I guarantee you the liability attorneys, which I guess there's a big... Uh, there's a lot of money to be made there because it seems like of all the attorney ads on TV, it's on liability. It's not on criminal law. It's not on Social Security. It's not on family practice. It's on liability, you know. Um, the next one here is KCAMP Online University. This is internet-based training. Um, this is college-level training, uh, and in particular, we always go back to the sheriff and we always say, if you really look at this, here's the benefit. Not only do you get really top-notch professional training uh, that filtered down from the Justice Department in Washington, um, the sheriff, 15 hours of this training is certifiable. As you know, that any commissioned law enforcement officer has to have 40 hours per year of training. So there's 15 hours that you can sit at your desk, literally, and get trained. A little bit of a budget savings there. Marion County, it's like a lot of other counties across Kansas here, that the sheriff, as a practical matter, they can't get the full 40 hours here in Marion County. They may have to travel to Hutch, Emporia, Salina, uh, to get the additional training. So some of that training that they may have to travel to, they may be able to get off of this here. So I'll mention that to the sheriff too. Uh, On-site training seminar. Here you have $4,000 a year available. This is where we'll actually come to you and it's, it's a lot of risk management. A lot of it again has to do around employee issue. You know, sexual harassment, uh, workplace violence, things like that. Uh, we will come specific to to talk to the department heads about, again, employment law here. What to do, how to discipline an employee. I think that's where attorney assist really excels. The majority of the calls are around errors and omissions. I don't know if that's what yours was. It's employee, employment law. Um, we get calls a lot. Uh, more often than not, it's over an employee issue. Said, here's what the employee done. We, the board, would like to terminate. We'll hear all the facts. There's been times says, yep, you're, we, we got your back on it. Uh, there's been other times says, now wait a minute, think about this. Maybe you ought to just write him up, maybe a three-day suspension, and go from there. And so you get some real good sound feedback from our perspective to reduce litigation here. Uh, risk avoidance grant, that is our most popular uh, risk management uh, offering. That is a grant. It's not unlike a public health grant. Uh, we have $2,000 set aside for Marion County. It's your money, but you use it or lose it. And here, as you can see, you use the full $2,000. That's good. And so, I don't know, as you get into your budget talks and stuff like that, keep that in the back of your mind that, you know, you have two, this $2,000 here. Usually, uh, most counties, the big budget departments utilize this. That'd be the sheriff and public works. 
a lot of counties they alternate. I don't know how did you use it last year? You know? uh, we used it for road and bridge for tarps. For, for tarps. Mm -hmm. That's a good example I've used. Uh, it, on the sheriff's side, the bumper guards to protect the vehicles for deer hits, yeah. animal hits. The uh, department has kind of, when we have quarterly meetings generally, and, and so they discuss them in the department meeting, and, and Road and Bridge had something they wanted to use it on, so the department has. Very good. Yeah, and you know, me being the trained observer that I was, not so much anymore when I was on the police department there at Hutch, I was a traffic safety officer. I was an accident reconstructionist there for Hutchinson and Rio County. You have a fatality accident, you know, you come out and reconstruct the accident. That was the old good old days. I guess they were good old days. You had to use a Texas Instrument calculator to <laughs> plug everything in and type it out, have three page formulas to go through. And now it's all computerized, you know, so anybody can do it. So it makes me, uh, makes them less important now. Uh, but anyway, um, the risk avoidance grant on the sheriff's side, I, I talked to the sheriffs here, and I finally got this one sheriff to concede because he said, you know, they, they don't help that much. And I said, well, now hold on. I said, the adjacent county, I'm not going to say the county, just had a deer hit. Now, you're right, if you hit a deer at 70 mile an hour, probably not going to help. But what if it's not that you hit the deer, the collisions at 70 mile an hour, what's the impact speed? You were going 70 when you saw the deer, but you slowed down to 50 mile an hour every time you hit it. It's going to help. It's all a different, it makes a big difference between that vehicle's taken out of service, has to go to the repair shop, or it can stay in service. It might have some damage on it. And he finally conceded that. So they are, they do make a difference. I don't know if you use those in Marion County or not. Yeah. Uh, again, like I said, me being an observer, I came up the front courthouse steps here. One thing that uh, I noticed is we're coming up the steps there. You can actually now put down those heat applied slip strips on your steps. I think it's a big deal because one of our most numerous complaints or litigation lawsuits against county commissioners, well, it's always against county commissioners. It might be the county commissioners and the sheriff or county commissioners and the clerk, but this here is just county commissioners. It's slip and falls at the courthouse. So, you know, as you look around here, you can use the money for, that's money for that. That's how you reduce risk. And that way, if you've done everything you can reasonably and somebody slips and falls, it's, it's unfortunate, but at least they can't say, well, you should have done this and you should have done that. You know, and so just that's a, an example that's a not high dollar. You know what I'm talking about where they actually are professionally installed? I think Morris County has them installed on your court steps. I was over there a couple of weeks back, and I noticed they have, have yes. them on there. And yeah. So I see Which courthouse? Uh, over in Marion, uh, Morris. Morris. Yeah, County. yeah. Where Morris County is one of our counties. They yes. have. They put them on after I talked to mm -hmm. them about it. And I mm -hmm. said it just helps. Yeah. And if you can They're help nice. one person from falling, mm -hmm. uh, it's it's worth every penny. So you can use the money. Those are examples. Mm -hmm. There. Um, the road scholar tuition reimbursement. You have six hundred eleven dollars available for road and bridge. Uh, this is sort of training that's sponsored by K-State, you know, you have KDOT involved, this is where your road and bridge supervisor can go take some training. If there's a tuition fee, and oftentimes there is, you could use that and get reimbursed. That training involves workplace safety, again, you know, uh, you're getting into, here in Marion County, do you have a unit road system or is it township? Unit. Yeah. Unit road system. You have quite a few graders and stuff. But as you get in on your blacktop, you do the sand seal and stuff like that. Get into training, you know, from the perspective of how to properly sign it, what you need to do to ensure that, you know, the public's safe and hopefully you don't have any claims against you. Can I ask a question? Uh -huh. On that training uh, for uh, Road and Bridge, um, where I worked the last place, OSHA was a big thing coming in. There was mandatory tra safety training. Uh -huh. uh, in road and bridge, especially when I was, but in the big equipment. 
right. especially employees. It, it was just mandatory every week, I think it was. They had a specific topic. Some right. of them seemed to be the most pettiest thing, mm. but caused a lot of injury, if not adhered to. Right. Uh, does your company provide anything like that? Yeah, our sister company, K Work, mm -hmm. Workers Comp, mm -hmm. they do that. Okay. If it's geared toward more like employee safety, because mm -hmm. it, if, if they get injured on the job, that's a workers' comp issue. Mm -hmm. Safe operating of equipment, it can be both <coughs> there. Uh, you know, you if you get the safety training and you don't run over the public out there, you know, you don't get no claims against you. Uh, so it, we can do that. That would go back here to the... Uh, on-site training seminar. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure we may contract that because we don't have a that kind of a specialist to come and provide that. Defensive driving we can. It's geared more toward overall safety to reduce insurance claims rather than defensive driving to protect yourself, which K-Work does. So, so sure. We do have that coming through some of those. K-Work has been out and done a lot of courses with them. They, oh. they have been out? Yeah. Yeah, okay. K, K work, okay. that's the big thing with them lawsuit. because okay. it's really yeah. employee yeah. safety. Yeah. Our, our more training would be on the liability issues. Come out and, and talk, you know, to the, your your group of department heads and elected officials here about, you know, customer service, you know, how to keep from getting sued, you know, over something, which is hard to do. Well, even anything like I'm talking about, like on road and bridge or something, you take your road grade operators, most of them, you have or should have or used to have a chainsaw in in their cab and as they're driving down the roads and they're road grading or something out in the country and you just branch up this and right. the top of the grader right well naturally you stand the risk of breaking the window or something part of their job was to get out and cut that well some of those are in very precarious positions yeah and so you would have training on how to do something like that safety that's safety, right or something like that that's so right. i mean there's all kinds of crazy little things which are very important that you don't, yeah, yeah. It's, it, that you don't think about because right. you think, well, that employee showed a lot of initiative. He's getting a six-foot step ladder, climbing up there on a slant and cutting mm -hmm. that down. Well, if you're permitting that, and they get break their back, mm -hmm. you know, it's all of a sudden is is well, you know, you're allowing them to do that. You're mm -hmm. <laughs> sort of like run the chainsaw, and you know, you provide them with the, you know, ear protection and the safety glasses if they're going to run a chainsaw. If you don't provide them and they put their eye out, then they're going to say, well, it's not my fault. You didn't give me nothing. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. That's well, how it works. Right. Safety gear, too. I, I, and stuff like that, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. um, and the, and it, it's only $611 a year for this road scholar, but I always couch everything back in money. Well, $611 is not a whole lot for county government. I mean, it's a lot for me and you individually. Six hundred eleven dollars can buy a year supply of windshield wipers for a road bridge, so you save a little money there, you know, something like that. Uh, the last one here, commissioners, is Think HR. This is our newest program. Uh, now I do show here that you used uh, used eight hundred fifteen dollars. Did you use that, or do you know who used that? That's uh, that internet-based <coughs> consultation. With. We well, I'm sure that we've used it, and we may have referred some other offices departments okay, to it. Other as offices. Well. So the reason I always look at the clerk because most of our counties, uh, the clerk is sort of the ad hoc personnel person. Right. That's you know. the way we. I are mean, there. they're not a personnel person, but that's where personnel type stuff mm -hmm. comes yeah. for processing. Yeah. So. so the so, commissioners could also use this. What's that? This think uh, think HR. The commissioners can also get online and do mm -hmm. this. Or, yeah. Sure. Um, so you can see the, the value was uh, $815 and the total 2019 availability if you used all of these to the to the fullest extent would be over $15,000. Again it's practical matter you don't have time or you can't but you can pick and choose what you use, like to use. And commissioners, I'm out of time, and what I want to do is just leave this with you here. I know you get a lot of paperwork here. Was that, was that stuff that was in our packet? No, so okay. we didn't have any other. 
I always like to try to stay on time because when I come next year, I want to say, well, you're that long-winded guy. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and, and, and that way the commissioners are very nice and the clerk says, yeah, yeah, you kind of stay on time. You get in and out. You're not too boring, you know. This just gives you all of the risk management, both front and back of these services here that we have available. Um, you got two press. Yeah. You, you want one? that we have available and I hope the news media has a nice article about the presenter and how great it is. Well good luck I know you have an issue here uh, on uh, not an issue but you you have a some public issues here on the west. We have the same thing at Reno County going on right now. We've heard yes. plenty of that in the news. That's why I always tell the new commissioners when I meet them, I said, well, you have my sympathies. They said, what do you mean? And I said, well, it's sort of like that ad on the U.S. Army has on TV. It's, it's not a job, it's an adventure. <laughs> So good luck Thank up you. here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Okay, well that was the last thing on the commission, so any citizen concerns? Yeah, I got one. I suppose you probably knew that. <laughs> as long as it's something we haven't already heard. Well, I can present it in a d d d different way. Would you mind going over there to present? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I can do that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, once again, I would like for you really to strongly consider either doing a moratorium or shutting the, uh, the, the WIMP project down or at least taking a good, strong look at what's happening. Uh, basically, it's, it's starting to get, it's starting to get, get, it's starting to get so bad in certain areas of where they want to put the put the the, 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 the uh, turbines in where where we have oh uh, where we have where we have have neighbors neighbors getting getting mad at each other to where well, one of these days people are starting to be afraid that something really serious is good. good uh, is going to happen, and we need to put a stop to this, be, you know, and and have everybody just kind of figure out what we want to do before something really serious happens, you know. Like I've had had corral gates open, the, you know, well this last week. I don't know who's doing it. Uh, I've had people call me up, say, well, so-and-so was going to do this to me, and so-and-so is after me. It's, everybody's getting so stressed out that you know, it's, it's causing problems amongst people that I never thought, it, it, you know, people look at somebody like me and say, yeah, that, 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 that I'm probably the one gonna, gonna, going to start stuff. But apparently there's other people that you wouldn't suspect, you know, you know, that that, that normally would be be level headed and you know, they're just uh, uh, you know, for one thing, you know, for one thing, they're scared of what's gonna happen. They have people telling them one thing, people saying, Well you gotta sign this or you're gonna do that. It's, there's just too much bad stuff happening, and I think you would, if you would look at that new CU P that they've they've sub 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 admitted, you know, it, it's hard to make any sense out of it. I, I I just think it's time we do something. I mean, I really I I, I just want you to strongly consider it, but. Uh, you just got too many people getting really up, up, getting really upset about the whole situation. That's all I got. Okay, thanks, Randy. Mm -hmm. Well, 
Anybody else Thank have you. anything? So there's some concern? I've got the same news and concern, so I won't. But I, when it gets me too, I live in the Flint Hills, and I don't think they recognize that I do. Uh, I know the moratorium don't go that far, but I do live in the Flint Hills. We think it does now. You think it does? We think it does. Yeah. Some of it, but I don't believe I'm in it. I got a Met Tower right in east, uh, west of me there, so. Mm, I think I know where you live. It's Okay, anybody else? Anyway. Okay. If not, I'm going to make a motion. Well, I have something. Okay. Something different. Uh, did you are we update us, Tina, on the process of the engineer applications? Are we getting any? We have gotten some applications. I can set some time for you to review those um, in executive session at the next meeting. I don't think we're getting, I don't believe that what you're getting is, um, or you, you can stop in any time you yeah. want but. Um, I was going to say, any time you, you're around, you can stop in and look at them. Yeah, we have several. I don't know how many of those are actually. Have you already? Yes, I have. And Tina is correct. I don't know how many of them are actual potential, yeah. truly potential candidates. So, okay. <laughs> and the second thing that I have, and I'm going to ask again. On MCCDC, I've been asking for months for payroll, and I know you sent me what you have. Right, that's what they gave you. That's what they mm -hmm. gave you. But what they gave you is yes. <coughs> what they gave you, this is all tax filings. Every bit of this is tax filings. This is not payroll. I mean, Those are the, pay the payroll taxes. Yes, and I didn't ask for the payroll taxes. Okay. I didn't ask for all the forms. I understand, but that is the payroll file that they gave me. <laughs> That's okay. all I have. Well, okay, <laughs> I, I got that. But what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to do something different because I didn't ask for the tax forms. I got the okay. tax forms. You asked for the payroll records. I asked for the And that's exactly what, what it said. was labeled, and that's what I have. So as far as your record request, what you have is everything. Now, if you think that there should be additional records that you think maybe weren't turned over, then that's something that you probably need to have Brad work on. Okay, I think I would probably have to do that. Uh, because, because obviously it, just by asking isn't getting me. And I know you know the difference between tax filings and payroll records. Okay, but uh, so here's so the issue. Uh, may I please let you know? I don't know what records they have because they are not accounting. They mm -hmm. are not us. Mm -hmm. And if it was us, I would be able to get that easily. Mm -hmm. um, now, if they if they made the county the record repository for their agency, and if there are records that have not been turned over, then Brad can work on that. I don't know if that was actually done or not, okay. and I don't know what other records may or may not exist. I have no way to know them. So, okay. so you have everything I have. I have everything that you have. <laughs> yes. Okay. But as an intelligent person, when I ask for payroll records, then you know they have an employee, so there's obviously a time card. Somehow they calculated that annual paycheck. I'm sorry, that monthly paycheck. Okay. Like I and said, that's if there are, what if I want. There are, I do not want to have all these okay. tax. Uh, no, I let you talk. Then you let me talk. Okay. So <laughs> I do not want all these stupid forms. I don't want. Would you to like me to shred those for you? No, I don't want to shred. Oh. I, I spent my paper printing okay. this dumb stuff. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you said you didn't want. Them. No, I, I don't. This is not the records I request. I Wait, specifically okay. requested payroll okay. records. Okay, not tax filings. Okay. I don't doubt for a minute that they paid their taxes. Okay. I don't doubt for a minute that they paid. In fact, I see it on, I see it on the bank statement that they paid their taxes. Okay. We want payroll records. Okay. But I will talk to Brad. Yes. So we'll just do that. But I also keep in mind that payroll records, if they do exist, and if I, if they do turn them over, if there are some records that have not been released to the county, they are not subject to open records. But I think generally payroll records are closed. Okay, I don't even want to go down the confidential no, deal right now. I don't even want to go down there because we can see them here in executive session. And for your for county employees, we can see them for this as well. I spoke to Brad okay. yesterday after. Um, that's uh, what I'm saying. That's a legal meeting, thing, and that's on Brad. Uh, even though you weren't involved in the conversation, you stood here when I asked him about these records, and he said yes, they. Okay. It, it went to bump. It comes back to the county, and I can see the records. Okay, but I will get. I that's what I'm just saying. People, I'm just telling you right now. That's fine. I've asked multiple months, months, months for these records. 
Um, it's a simple thing. If I'm not going to get them, I will deal with Brad. Okay, thank you. But please let please know that that is not my responsibility to get those records. Certainly not. Okay, and I provide yeah. everything that that I received. Okay. And so since it's not your responsibility, I will take care of it. If it's a legal question, then right. that's I mean, maybe something Brad needs to work We can correspond on. directly with Brad. And yes, let him work exactly. On that. I would and I'm not trying to argue. I'm just trying to explain. Yeah. That's the T-shirt that I have. It has the Grinch, and it says, "I am not arguing. I'm just wanting to know why you disagree with me." So, okay, okay. let's just raise the That's just funny. That's just funny. Uh, funny. Got, uh, okay, so. Tracy, you have. I've heard repeatedly that MCC EDC was not a county thing. How could it not be a county thing when the first two things in its name is Marion County? And that's that's true. It is a county thing. They never signed the contract, and Brad just verified that, so it is. But it, it was in t they wanted it not to be as far as the payroll was concerned. But okay. they never signed the contract. But that's still to be okay. There okay. is yeah. fine line. Because it's a fine line. I keep line. hearing this. It's not a county mm -hmm. entity. It's a separate corporation. Yeah. So with yeah, tax dollars, money. with taxpayer <laughs> money. Yeah. Clause yeah. Yeah. And yeah. So it should be open records if they're using mm -hmm. tax dollars. That's why. Right. And Brad did say since it went to bunk. And so they, they gave us everything back, papers, folders, desks, computers, but they're sleeping on the payroll records. So go yeah. figure. Yeah. We can let Brad work okay, on I'll, that I'll to determine where we, need, where we need to go. Okay. That's his job, and so we can I, direct him there. So. Okay. Anyone else? Last chance. Well, um, I just want to make it clear. Payroll in the county is open record. In fact, in fact, I was looking up. Are you speaking as a citizen? Or yes. As a okay, citizen, okay. Um, because yesterday I was looking up some things on the internet, and Butler County, they had selected counties, and they actually showed overtime the name of the person and how much overtime they got for that year. County yeah. records for payroll are open record. Mm -hmm. Some things more are transparent. It's salary. Mm -hmm. I mean, and we announce it here. The government. I'm sorry. Yeah. We announce yeah. it here. Every time okay, we, 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 we don't need to argue this. Brad, can, Brad will take yeah. care of it. Yes. He, know, yeah. he knows the laws, so we'll I'm just saying. Brad I keep hearing it. somebody okay. say that this is not open record for county. I, I haven't seen the records. No, I'm and I, county. I understand, county. but not everything that is considered a payroll record of the county is open. I'm not talking about. So that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about salary. I have not. Well, salaries, yes, they're open and their name. Okay, but <laughs> we so go ahead yeah we'll, we'll deal with we'll, we'll yeah. deal with I mean, we, that. We know we know to, who to authorize to right. check on that for us. So we'll move on down. Anyone else? Okay. Uh, are you ready? <laughs> I, I'm ready. That's all I had to ask for. Yeah. Yes. Why don't you go ahead and make a motion? Then? I'll make a motion to adjourn. I'll second. All in favor? All right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and sometimes, I know, actually, I know it's good debates are there. not necessarily arguments. What's that? I say good debates are not necessarily no. arguments. I'm just saying I keep hearing that, and it's like, no, those are open. I, I know people don't feel like it, but if you work for the government, they're open. So we're in here. Yeah, they find the old one. Yeah. Uh, oh, poor David. Yeah. No, Dr. Chris. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah.